what is going on you guys aries baby it is scorpion red tarot i'm back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what is going on for june 2019 where's my batman fat man you know that's our aries mask God, that's my snookers. I don't care if he look a mean and mad. I love him anyway. He got to deal with. I don't even care. I don't care you coming outside all upset. And, 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 and. Yes, that's right, Aries. I know y'all got y'all Scorpio. They don't give a damn about y'all. Goddamn attitude. We be loving all on y'all anyway. Shit, because y'all don't want to see y'all attitude. Okay. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's for my that's one of my best friends here early so I'll be <laughs> that's our relationship listen y'all know I love my goddamn Aries and my Batman fat man love y'all too shout out to all my Aries because listen you got listen they love to hate you don't they but you gotta love them you gotta love them look they love to hate you don't they shit Mugging on these hoes. Mug what what Batman? Mugging on these hoes. Alright, y'all don't be giving a fuck. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Shout out to all my OGs. What's going on, baby? Um just thank you guys for sending all the love and light. Listen, we got a brand new deck that was sent through the Amazon wish list. So shout out to everyone that's been sending all the love and light. And we also got a brand new love oracle deck as well through the Amazon wish list. So shout out to everyone who's been sending support through the page because y'all put so much different flavor out here on this table. And Y'all help us support and grow and just be able to get new equipment and just do the various different things that we're doing. As you know, um, I don't know if maybe if you guys have been watching the other um, signs or whatever. I have created a Patreon because I got one deck that is a little bit too explicit for YouTube. Let me cover her up a little bit. This one, you know, is a little bit too raunchy. It's a little bit too raunchy for YouTube. You know, I don't want my page to get shut down. So we're going to go over to a private domain, which is Scorpion Reds Tarot over at Patreon. So the link is there. I don't want you guys to click it just yet. Y'all just marinate on it. Y'all can check it out. Look at the page and stuff like that. Just know as soon I will be putting out a video to let y'all know, look, the Patreon is ready and we ready to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do like a welcome to Patreon video, all this stuff. Y'all going to know when it's active, active, active. But um, what we're going to be doing over the Patreon, because you guys have been sending so much love and support to the page that we have to move explicit content somewhere else. Excuse me, let me turn this down. Um, what we're going to be doing over there is we're going to be doing live, uh, live, uh, call-ins where you guys can call in. We're going to do, um, two different tiers. There's going to be a $1.99 tier and there's going to be a $4.99 tier. So this is like a monthly membership subscription. And what we're going to be doing, um, live face-to-face -face conferences and stuff like that um where we're going to be doing like panel discussions about certain like morning slide topics certain just topics of stuff that's been coming out in the readings um you guys are going to be um able to do call have um call-in readings that we're going to be doing on live um where i had the live free readings here we're going to be doing that for the members now you know what i'm saying so for the people that do not have enough money to afford a private reading you have a better chance of getting a reading not a full length because a full length reading is basically me, me using all of these cards basically what y'all about to see me do right here for y'all monthly that is what you guys are going to be expecting and that's what you're going to get if you purchase a full private reading but through the membership, it'll give you an easier way to get a personal reading, like a quickie personal reading with just a $1.99 membership or a $4.99 membership versus you paying the full the full price of a full, you know, reading or whatever. And you'll get access to a lot of exclusive content and a lot of exclusive co um, um, conversation. And you guys will actually be able to call in and talk to me and we'll be able to like really interact with each other and you'll be able to interact with the private membership group um 
Because I know a lot of times people, when they get the, the live readings and stuff like that, certain people don't want everything broadcasted on YouTube. So it's a private domain. And like I said, we can talk about explicit explicit things if certain things come out because there's a couple of topics of some things that's been coming out a lot in the tarot that I want to have you guys calling so we could discuss these things and um I got a new spread that we're going to be doing it's a sex secret sp uh, spread here with this deck right here that I'm mixing it up with the tea and we're going to be going in real deep so we're going to be doing some collective dirty secret readings <laughs> It's going to be wild, especially with the callings and everything. It's going to be, it's going to be a real joy. So at the 199 tier, that's for you guys to um, hop in on the live readings, for you guys to hop in on the live conversations and stuff like that. Now the 499 tier, that is for the explicit content. Okay, that's like real adult adult only because like I said we're going to be using explicit decks we're going to be talking about sex we want to be talking about a lot of adult things so you know that's for the next tier okay so I will be announcing it when that is going to be rolled out thank you guys again for the tremendous love and support you guys make it possible um, where's my little speaker I got a little speaker here so that um you know you guys can call in, you know, and <laughs> we can get this conference call popping. You hear me? Yes. So it's going to be straight love. Thank you guys again for all of the love and support. Um, if you guys want to book a personal or private reading, you guys already know what to do. And if you're new to the page, click that about tab. All right. You'll see all my links to my um, booking, to link me up on Patreon, to link me up on the Amazon wish list for PayPal, uh, my Instagram link. All of my links is in the about tab. OK. And if you want to book with me, first thing you need to do is book with me and then link with me. So book and then link. So there's a hyperlink to to Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that. <clears throat> Select the reading that you want. There's options on there for an add-on. If you want a video recap of your reading, you can click the $10 add-on for the recap video. And then that recap video add-on is also used for if you want a direct video upload. So if you prefer not to have a face-to-face -face video live chat with me for your reading and you just want to send me your question and have a private video directly uploaded to YouTube, you can do that. Just make sure that you only send me the question that you want to know. Don't tell me the information pertaining why you're asking a question. Um, I don't need to know the person's name or their birth date or their sun, moon, and rising. I don't need to know any of that stuff. I just need to know what you need to know. And we're going to rock and roll from there, okay? And... Um, so once you guys book the reading, link up with me. My Instagram link is right under the booking. Send me a message on there. And if you don't have Instagram or if you prefer not to use your Instagram, you can download Google Hangouts. Okay, it's an easy app to download. Once you download it, um, just use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a message and we'll link up there for the video chat and or we will be communicating there so I can send your private upload link so that you can have your reading, okay? So, um, if there's anyone who would like to send additional love and support to the page, like I said, um, we got the numerology deck through you guys' support through the Amazon wish list. We got the Game of Thrones. We got uh, this deck, the Zentero deck. We got tea leaves through you guys' um, constant support through PayPal. I mean, literally... Even the camcorder that I, I'm recording on right now, like, it's through y'all's love and support that I'm able to do what I'm doing. Um, and I just appreciate everything and how much love y'all send back to me because it keeps me going. And it just keeps me showing and just knowing I'm on the right path. And I really appreciate everything. And I really appreciate every one of y'all that's clicked this video. Shout out to all of y'all. Thank you guys so much. We are about to really... Do some amazing, fun things with this page. And um, it's to the moon and beyond. So let's get into this reading. Father God, thank you so much for spreading this love and light and joy and prosperity over my Aries. You know I love, I love, I love my Aries. You know I love them. I feel like Aries and Scorpio, we have... Um, 
we're like kindred souls in in this saying that I feel like we are so misunderstood. Like we get a bad rap for no reason. Like we are really, really good people, you know? And like when you really get to know a uh, Aries, it's like, man, oh, that's my heart, my soul, my everything. It's just they intellectually challenge you, they spiritually challenge you. They make you aware. It's like you need an Aries is like a sharp tool in your in your in, in, in your um cutlery jar. You know what I'm saying? It's like the sharpest tool in there almost. You know what I'm saying? Like you need something sharp like that to cut through the bullshit, cut, you know, thick meat to just you know what I'm saying, to get through the thickness sometimes and ain't nothing like an Aries friend, man. I I, I promise you. Um so shout out to all my Aries that's out there just being good friends and just just being good people and just being a good uh, a example of how to go out there and get it. Because it's one thing about Aries, like they're determined. They are action. They about action. You know what I'm saying? And to other people that where well, they just can't find the drive to, to get up and going. Aries problem, you can't stop going. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like you gotta take the good with the bad. And, goddamn, like, I don't know about nobody else, but I just, I just want to tell you that I love you. And, um, I just want to tell you to keep doing what you're doing because, um, I really do feel a lot of positivity and joy surrounding you guys. And I want to thank you, Aries, for being a tremendous soul. In the given soul, because y'all are very given, and especially with knowledge, and just trying to keep people, you know, on, on their toes, you know. So, uh, Father, give us guidance for my Aries. Give me guidance for them, because they on their way. They definitely on their way. And let's give them some good words, some good words along their safe passage. On their voyage, I def I feel like Aries is on a voyage right now, like one like a self discovery voyage before they kind of like take their spear and like put it in the ground and, and claim something like this is me, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm going to be. I feel like y'all are on like a spiritual voyage right now. Y'all are like. It's doing your thing. Give me guidance for the sign of Aries. Thank you so much for all your guidance in the past, present, and future. Please give me guidance for the sign of Aries for June 2019. Thank you again. Give me guidance for you. My fingers tingling. Lord. Courage. Child, as if y'all need any more courage. Seriously, child. And I see green. Cash rules everything around me. Green, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill. And look, <laughs> and look what I had sitting right on top of the deck. Just like this, huh? Just like that, huh? This 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 how you sitting. This how you sit in Aries. Walk around like a whole ass leprechaun out this bitch. This how y'all sitting. Y'all smoking good. <laughs> smoking straight trees, evergreen. Gas. Okay? Out here lucky than a bitch. Lucky than a bitch. And look, and then what's at the bottom? Rebirth. Didn't I tell y'all y'all was out here on y'all goddamn this? Hmm. 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 Let me take this. Let me take this, baby. Reinvent yourself. Give your uh, give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. Come on through like you knew. Come on through like you knew, Aries. Come on now. Aries. Mm, Aries, keep it there, please. Keep it there. 
rebirth and courage. I feel like right now, hmm. I just heard there's something stopping you. Y'all feel like it's something stopping you. It says courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Yeah. What do y'all think is trying to stop you? I just heard that big as day. Something's trying to stop me. It's like you're trying to rebirth and you're trying to reinvent yourself. And y'all are going to your dreams. That's why I'm like. But y'all always think somebody out to get y'all though. Y'all straight be always thinking somebody out to get. And look, when I was talking to my little Aries friend or whatever. I was like, baby, you good. This, this, and that. I was like, y'all always think somebody out to get. He be like, but it is. And you know it is. I'm like, all right. But he do be having a whole bunch of shit be going on. And he just, he's really be trying to stay this out of the way. It just be like drama just be following him for some reason and he just be wanting to change so bad where's okay give me guidance clarify what's trying to stop aries in regards to this rebirth what is this fear about this courage it says you are safe fear is an illusion you gotta set the boundaries. Set strong boundaries. Okay. Give me guidance for Aries. Get you. Oh. The Hierophant. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Ooh. The Devil. Mm. What in the dear Lord did you answer, child? You gotta stop. You got okay, so it's like you gotta stop. You gotta stop. It you yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like your ways from you just set in your ways and it's like you trying so hard. I just heard unreligious. Like you trying to stop like this unreligious lifestyle of yours. I heard gangster. King King of Swords. What's up with all this? Okay, so I feel okay, so listen. Y'all feel like this is what I heard. And this is what I'm hearing. Y'all, y'all just participate in some type of unreligious lifestyle that you've been that that is like some type of deviant lifestyle. And I don't necessarily think I mean it could be some type of sexual deviant shit, but I don't think it's sexual deviant. I just feel like y'all just like being that life. You know what I'm saying? Dot, dot, dot. Y'all can fill the blank. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all be in the life and you been doing this shit since you was a child. And it's like, the lifestyle that you live, I don't feel like you could just walk in into a church and, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be like, oh, like what the, what the hell is he doing in here? Like, he, get, get the, you know what I'm saying? Like, someone come save this child. Like, your lifestyle is just reckless. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? Your lifestyle is just wild. It's just reckless. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Been doing this shit since you, since you was young. Been wilding since you was young. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you've had a hard childhood. You've had a hard childhood. And I feel like ever since you was a child, you've been trying to put shit together that your parents have fucked up in your life you know what i'm saying and it's like i feel like even as a child you kind of had to like grow up you grew up in the streets like you had to take care of yourself you had to put the shit together yourself because you know what i'm saying like y'all could have been left out y'all could have been left out there and and y'all just got caught up in 
in some in in, in, in a, a savory lifestyle because I don't feel like I don't feel like it was your fault. It was something that was forced on you as a child and you had to get it how you live. Like that's why y'all are so courageous like that. That's why y'all so wild like that. That's why y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all don't listen to no rules. Y'all are like a bandit. Y'all run y'all own army. Y'all are vicious. Y'all are lethal. Y'all are feared. You know what I'm saying? Feared. Feared. Like don't make me go grab my sword on a bitch. You understand? You ain't got you see how he like give me my sword. You ain't got no problem <laughs> getting somebody to fuck together. Y'all are what's a nomad? What's a nomad mean, y'all? I heard nomad. Does that mean somebody that's just like a rebel? You just lead your own pack. You don't follow a group like motherfuckers follow me. I ain't ask these motherfuckers to follow me ass type shit. Like, I feel like people follow you because you a leader. You you smart, but you bought that action too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't just do what the fuck you do for nothing. If you got to go grab that, yeah, you motherfuckers know. Like, people know. Like, you communicate very well, okay? You have no problem with opening up your mouth and communicating the way you feel to let motherfuckers know before you, yeah, go grab that, yeah. I'm sorry, that's DC slang. Okay, so let me talk, let me sorry. I'm sorry. So, in Aries, will communicate and verbalize efficiently and effectively before they will try and go to extreme measures to harm you. Like you would have had ample verbal warning before they go grab that. Yeah. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, they go get that. Yeah. Okay. So listen, I feel like y'all try to rebirth yourself and go your own way. And it's just like, continue. Continue on that. I just feel like you just gotta. I don't feel like y'all fear nothing. Aries don't fear nothing. They don't fear fucking shit. So that's why I said courage. Like, what the fuck they need more courage for? That sounds crazy. Excuse me, let me add some water. I feel like it's the courage to set boundaries with people. Boundaries. You understand? Because you, you don't want to do this shit no more. You don't want to do this shit no more. This is you. I feel like you might want to kind of change the way that you've been and have a more uniformed way of being. Like, this might be you ready to stop the wild lifestyle, the unconventional lifestyle, sex, drugs, rock and roll. And it's like, shit, I might... To, I've been doing this shit so long, I don't know nothing but this. But honestly, what has it, what has it bought me? It hasn't bought me much. You understand with that page of coins? Because I feel like this could be Aries, like, possibly trying to go out and find work or just a new stable environment and things like that. They in a new house, new home, new attitude and things. But I feel like in some aspect of their life, some ain't paying off. And I feel like it's because of... This past life. You see what I'm saying? This past white life. This this past way of living. Something that they've been bound to for a fucking long time. Since they were young. A way of being. A way of thinking. A way of being emotionally fulfilled. You see what I'm saying? Like whatever the hell... I felt like you've had to fill your own cup since you were a child. And it's like, I've had to get it like this. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to reinvent myself and give my life to my dreams and create a new reality. But I'm trying to have courage. For some reason, you don't feel uh, safe. And spirit is trying to tell you fear is illusion. Just set strong boundaries with people. You're not attached to these people. You don't have to... Live this lifestyle. You don't have to hang with these people. You really don't. You know what I'm saying? 
these motherfuckers scared of you. Like, look, they ain't scared of you. But this is you, like, coming to reality and, and, and having a clear mind and coming to the conclusion, I need to grab my sword and I need to cut certain shit out and... I still fuck with these people. Yeah, these people that I've known since, you know, I was a child, but I just I just see you going in a different path. Y'all just you just you just really trying to change. Cause at the end of the day, throughout all of this shit, gang banging, thugging, drugging, sex, rock and roll, it ain't pay out to it ain't you ain't got shit to show for it. It's like I'm still waiting for, I'm still, no, mm-mm. And it's delaying, I feel like certain parts of this lifestyle because I feel like you feel like you can't get away from these friends or you can't get away from this lifestyle almost. I feel like you can't get away from this lifestyle. Let's see what this rebel deck got to say here. Give me guidance for my areas. I just knew to pull this rebel deck out. Let's see what this rebel deck said. Because I, I, I feel like... It's like it, it just won't let me go. What did I hear earlier? Was it it won't let me go? Or... It was something like that. But that's what I feel. It's just like you you're trying to get away from this shit. But... But I feel like now it's just like, man, this shit ain't really... Cause right now after y'all y'all taste it. Okay, this is this is a lot. Hmm. I, but I feel like it, it works. It works. And then be be fucking grateful is at the top. Spirit says laugh. What the fuck is your sense of humor? <laughs> Time to let go. Move the fuck on. It's just you know, it says you're giving too much of a fuck. Give zero. Where does it say? Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. See, I told y'all, like, y'all be in your head thinking somebody is trying to attack y'all or something. It says, get the fuck outside, move your ass. Y'all be in the house too fucking much. Your body is pissed at you. You staying cooped up. Somebody's staying cooped up. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and Spr Sprulina taste like ass or whatever the fuck that shit is said. It says eat some bacon and some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. That definitely sounds like my Aries friend. That keep trying to come out. Why that keep trying to come out? I feel like that shit try to come out on y'all. Last time, and I was like, that ain't no fucking Aries. Like, maybe y'all all trying to, like, eat some weird ass shit I can't even fucking pronounce that I ain't never in my fucking life heard of. What the hell is Sprulina? What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that shit is called. Anyway, that shit sounds disgusting. I just feel like... Oh, my goodness. Y'all hear my stomach? Oh, my goodness. I'm hungry. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell is going on? My stomach growling? Okay. Phone ringing? Um, and maybe y'all are just like, I feel like y'all are trying to distract yourself from changing. I feel like you're trying to distract yourself from changing. And giving into this fear, which is a mere illusion. That's why I'm saying, don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts are lying, sneaking bastards. I don't feel like no one's trying to attack you. I, I feel like a lot of this shit is really you. Because it's time to let go. And you're giving too much of a fuck. It's saying give zero. And move the fuck on. Like, you really don't have no... You're not bound. You're not tied to these people. 
And I feel like just because you don't want to hang with these people no more, that doesn't mean that you ain't got to go outside. Go the fuck outside. Laugh. Enjoy life a little bit. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? And I feel like God is like laughing because they like, look at Aries over there tripping out. After all these blessings I done gave to him, look at him. Look at If he don't fucking... Like God is like, if you don't stop, what is you so mad about? What is you so unhappy about? Stop, stop, stop listening to that bullshit in your head, giving yourself some reason to be unhappy. Stop listening to this shit. Just set some fucking boundaries with these motherfuckers and be the rare unicorn you are. Eric's like, I ain't no motherfucking unicorn. Do I look like a motherfucking unicorn? Yes. You could be a unicorn. Why you can't be a unicorn? Right, look, I ain't no motherfucking unicorn. Calling me no motherfucking unicorn shit. So I don't even be liking to come down here on these motherfucking reads. You be talking that dumb ass shit. Calling a nigga motherfucking unicorn and shit. Fuck. Hey, look, Eric, look. Look, look at him. Look at you. Look at you and look at you. Sitting up there, look at you. Look at you. Oh, nigga. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to tell y'all that's how y'all Aries be. Y'all be on that Batman, Fat Man shit. And we be sitting over here laughing like, look at this motherfucker. Always upset about something. Child, let it go. Y'all just be a little, uh, a little, little grumpy little thing. But it's okay. I feel like y'all not eating right. Some 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 one of y'all is not eating right. Y'all eating some weird ass fucking salads or some. What the fuck? Y'all eat some weird ass shit. Be Aries. Like, that, that, that's the only thing I can say. Listen, be fucking Aries. You want to rebirth. You want to change. You reinventing yourself. Fucking do it. Just set boundaries with these people. Don't let none of this negative shit get in your head. You not bound. You not tied to none of this addictive ass past behaviors. Like, you have control over it. And that's the thing. Like, you do. You know that you have control over it. I feel like you guys try to make this excuse like someone's out to get you to kind of have an excuse to continue. I feel like to me, I'm sorry, and I'm going to keep it 100. I feel like it's a bunch of bullshit. I feel like it's an excuse for y'all to continue in this bullshit ass behavior. I have a reason to still interact and hate and do the <laughs> aggressive just dominating the shit that y'all do like cause I feel like <laughs> look at this nigga like hand me my sword like y'all wanna fight with people for some reason why y'all wanna fight with people let's, let's, let's go to the game of thrones we going to the game of thrones why y'all wanna fight with people for real and that's why thank y'all shout out to Kylie for <laughs> this deck shout out to my baby Kylie y'all say shout out Kylie let me see the shout out Kylie in the comments. Shout out, Kylie. Let's go to the Game of Thrones. Let's find out why for how thou does this child feel like somebody is out to get them. That card literally says you are safe. Fear is an illusion. Why? Are y'all feeling like people is trying to get y'all? Y'all feel like y'all look... <laughs> what the fuck is the Night King coming to get you or some shit? Come on. You running from night walkers and some shit? What the fuck? The night is coming. <laughs> Page of Cups. Oh, hold on. No, you like these hoes trying to love on me too much. These bitches is trying to destroy my life. They trying to give me all this good pussy. And I'm just out here just a young little fellow. I'm just saying hello. Okay? I'm just saying Hello. Okay, these bitches trying to give me the yummy, but I ain't even fucking with these hoes like that, Rez. I'm not fucking with these hoes like that, Rez. Listen, I look, the king of spirits out here, I'm just out here just trying to give them some dick and dip out. Listen to, <laughs> listen to me. I look, oh, mm -mm. You know, I got me a little slight commitment phobia out here. You know, I ain't, listen, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm just gonna keep it 100. Like, y'all know what the fuck it is? That's why I'm like, hold on. Hold on. Let me grab my sword and see what hoe I got cut off. Because these bitches be out here tripping. Like, and, 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 listen. Maybe I am giving too much of a fuck out here. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like. Uh, 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 hold on. What is this? Look, you, you letting hoes go. Listen, that's okay. Uh, uh, 
Aries. Is it okay? Listen. Player from the Himalaya. Player. Player hater. Turn your head round. Turn your head round. Lay on the ground. You've been robbed. Wake up. Wake up. I don't know the rest of the song. What? <laughs> But bitch, you been robbed. You just got the good. He just got the goodies and dipped out on you, peach, peaches, peaches, peach, peach. You these these hoes eat. Listen, oh, okay. Is this what Aries is saying to somebody up here? Cause y'all, cause I'm not fucking with y'all right now. Aries is telling the cross watcher to laugh, and cross watcher, don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? Listen, I was messaging you. Just listen. I uh, it wasn't nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? I we was just fucking. You know what I'm saying? I was saying I was in love with you. Look. You like my spear? I like giving you my spear, my dear Peach. I didn't say I was holding on to you forever. Um, just laugh. I mean, I'm still listen. We could listen. Someone in the back singing, "Hold on, hold on, don't let me go." Listen, laugh, baby. Where the fuck is your sense of humor, like? Listen, you knew you, you look. You knew I was out here giving straight devil dick with no committal. You knew I was. Listen, you knew I out I'm out here, be slaying pipe down bitches backs. You already know. I've been doing this shit since I was a youngin. Don't be no dumbin. Don't be no dumbin. Don't be no dumb one out here. Don't be no dumbin. Don't be no dumb little youngin. Okay. I want nobody to give you nothing. One well, body give you nothing, and I'm gonna communicate with you smooth like shit. I am a bachelor. I'm single. I am single. The king of swords is single. They don't have emotions. They don't hold emotions in a relationship type of sense. They're bachelors. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I got that real, like, no. Because sometimes, like, the story don't come out until the rest of the cars come out, honey. Mm -mm. Somebody in the back is screaming, hold on, hold on, don't let me go. And Aries is like, no, it's time to let go. Move the fuck on. Like, this was just, this was just fun. Like, you are, I feel like this, like, Aries has been noncommittal. And I feel like somehow, deep inside, that they are trying to change. You know what I'm saying? They are trying to change. This person that got cut off is just someone that just got kind of lost in the shuffle. Like, they're changing. They're changing, and I feel like they could have possibly... Aries could have possibly just straight, like, blocked somebody or, like, ghosted someone because this person was giving too much of a fuck, and Aries gave zero. And Aries is like, laugh, where's your sense of humor? It's time to let go. You know what I'm saying? Move the fuck on. Like, this is... Y'all already know how Aries go. Y'all already know how Aries go. They're telling this person, don't believe every shitty thought in your head. Thoughts can be lying, sneaky bastards. It's like, you you try to believe something was going to be more than what it was when you knew that Aries was non-committal and that they've been out here in this lifestyle for a minute. It's just that it's known out here in the street that Aries just got some good dick out here. I mean, let's keep it 100. But they ain't loving nobody. They ain't never said that they was loving nobody. You know what I'm saying? You was just the lucky one that got that new message. Like, yeah, what's up? Mm, that new fish out in the sea that I want to see. Wee, wee, wee. Wee, wee, wee. Okay? It's time for you to move your ass. Okay? It's time for you to get your ass outside and, and, and move your ass. I feel like whoever this person that has been dealing with Aries could possibly be stuck. 
believing every little shitty thought in their head and giving too much of a fuck about what the fuck is going on with Aries. And it's like, you need to let that shit go and just laugh. Like, I feel like Aries showed you who the fuck they was at the door. So for them too, yeah, they, 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 yeah, like they put themselves out there. They were flirting with you and everything like that. And it's like, but they, they're not going to commit to you. They're not going to give you that shit. And I feel like someone was possibly giving too much of a fuck or being too emotional or something. And Aries let them go. Because it wasn't about to add up to nothing. It wasn't, they wasn't about to put the work in there anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. Aries wasn't about to give you shit. Aries was about to give you shit. Like, no. You need to get the fuck outside and you need to move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. I feel like someone's been sitting in the house waiting for Aries. Like, eating some crazy ass fucking diet. Like, trying to fucking lose some weight or something. And it's like, Aries is not tripping on you. Like, I feel like you need to have the courage to set boundaries with your want and your intensity for Aries. Because I feel like this Aries, who for whoever this cross watcher is, they showed you who the fuck that they were. They've been like this since they were young. And I'm, I feel like you already know this Aries. Like you already know that shit. You already know that shit. But I do... Don't wipe out everything I said for that first group of Aries. For that first group of Aries, I feel like it is most definitely an Aries male or Aries female. No, I would say Aries male. It's an Aries male energy that they've just been in the life for a long time. Since they were young. They've had to kind of get it like this since they were young. But it hasn't bought them anything. And I feel like they're cutting a lot of shit out. And it's just they're, they're trying to find a way to set boundaries with a lot of people from their past that they've just been in this lifestyle with. Or just even trying to have the courage to cut off females. I feel like a lot of things in the, in, the, in, the, in this lifestyle that has, hasn't bought them anything of value is all these females. Like Aries could be... Having a, Aries can have a rotation of like four different females that they're talking to. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have sex with them, but they were girls that they were working on, if that makes sense. But they don't love them. They was really just trying to give them that spear, trying to give them that wood. You know what I'm saying? So it might possibly be about four girls right now that Aries had in rotation that they're working on but i feel like they're about to let some of them go because i feel like they have a crazy diet of just consuming pretty women you know what i'm saying yeah like i feel like yeah hmm third eye chakra your third eye chakra is very much so aware and awoken like I feel like this number six, I feel like you guys love yourself very much. You're very caring. I feel like you. Is that someone knocking at my motherfucking door, bitch? No, I'm not fucking tripping. Anyway, I know I'm not tripping. I know I heard someone banging at my door. Anyway, so, third eye chakra. I feel like you guys have, um, like you guys are communicating and you guys are being honest with where you see your life is going right now. You guys are most definitely trying to change you guys are trying to change. I feel like you guys still have this kind of um, playeristic way with you. But I feel like you guys are trying to have a, have the courage of letting go of people that really don't bring no true value to your life. Like, that shit don't bring no value to your life. And I, and I see you guys just communicating. Like, look, I just don't see this going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have responsibility. I want a sense of harmony in my life. <laughs> 
I, I have obligations. You know what I'm saying? My relationships with the people in my life that are important with me are important with me are important to me and I just don't have time for just frivolous frivolous shit you see what I'm saying so it was fun but you know I just I feel like if Aries doesn't love you I feel like they're cutting out a lot of people that they don't love and I feel like they have come to the conclusions that they see that these people really don't have no value in their life so it's like why to continuously have these people hanging on for no reason? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is a toxic pattern. This is a toxic lifestyle that they've just. They're trying to break out of this. Emotional withdrawal. Like. Yeah, like I said, you guys want to back away from a lot of people. I, I feel like you guys are. Literally trying to pray in just a new existence into y'all life. Y'all are really just taking leadership. Taking leadership. Really sitting there praying, manifesting. You know, I feel like you guys are... You guys are giving a lot to your surroundings. Because y'all want change. Y'all want to kind of take more ownership and authority of what's going on. Y'all want prosperity. Y'all want abundance. You want to give to the universe so the universe can give back to you in a very, you know, good giving and receiving type of way. And I feel like a lot of things that your third eye just knows isn't healthy for you no more. Lifestyle, person, people, places, and things like you guys are just... Like cutting the shit out. And I feel like y'all are slowly withdrawing yourself from it. And, and I, I feel like y'all are laughing. Like. I've been doing this shit for so fucking long. This shit is crazy. Wisdom. Like. Wisdom. Number five. Change. 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 You guys might be going through some challenges in, at this current time. But you guys are moving forward with that number five. That represents travel. Freedom. Being quick with it adaptable you know what i'm saying so y'all are withdrawing yourself to take some authority back you see what i'm saying i feel like that's what y'all are doing y'all are manifesting this rebirth y'all are reinventing yourself y'all are giving yourself to your dreams that's why i said y'all are withdrawing yourself and putting your energy and your focus on trying to pray and bring that positive energy into you and I think your fear is, is like, can I really kind of just let this go and just be different? I just feel like y'all have just been in this lifestyle for so long. It's just, I don't even think that you even know what you would look like being a, <laughs> a regular person, like <laughs> a square or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you have this wisdom and it's like, you want change. You really do want something better. And it's like, you're literally sitting here. You're removing certain things out of your life because you want better. And number one is starting with the women. Ooh. Suffering in silence was at the bottom of the deck. Suffering in silence. And number nine, like, yeah, this is like really, really coming to a point where you guys are ending cycles. You are confident. You are open-minded. You know what I'm saying? It's about reflection. Being political. You know, really making decisions. This is like, I feel like even if you guys are around people, you guys are going through whatever emotions y'all are going through in silence. Y'all are going through this shit in silence. Because it's like you never tell, because it's like y'all, in y'all's mind, you never know who the enemy is. Like, I don't want to talk to these motherfuckers and let everybody know what I'm thinking. You see what I'm saying? You see how you walking away from all the Things that you used to know and you got this book that shine and that's what you think in your wisdom. And you like, man, these motherfuckers don't need to know what I'm thinking. And you see this dog is like, motherfucker, where you going? You like, y'all motherfuckers need to mind your business. Like, you going somewhere to whatever you think and whatever you going through, it's like you kind of dealing with it by yourself. And that's why I said I feel like you guys have been spending a lot of time alone. Y'all been suffering in silence. Y'all been 
secluded. Y'all been emotionally withdrawn. Like, I feel like y'all come out every now and then. But if y'all do, y'all only come out and y'all deal with people that I feel like help you. Ooh, spiritual union. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on, Aries. Ooh. 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 Aries. What the oh sugar sugar honey honey <laughs> sugar sugar honey honey sugar sugar is that how that song go sugar sugar honey honey hey sugar 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 Honey, honey. Ooh, sugar, honey, iced tea. Shit. Bitch, what the fuck is popping? Let's go to love. Ooh. Ooh, this has to do with love, my friend. Oh, papi chulo. Papi chulo, you want to tell me what's going on, papi? Papi, tell me what's going on with love, papi chulo. Tell me what's going on, my friend. Oh, my friend. Oh, Paco. Paco, tell me what's going on. Oh, friendship, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, young, this wild as shit, mo. Why my Aries friend, my Aries friend that I was just telling y'all about. I, okay, so this deck right here, when this deck came, he was here when this deck arrived, right? And so I was playing around with the cards, right? And, oh. Ooh, what this say? Ooh, embrace. Ooh, okay. Fall. Ooh, let's take these. Okay. So when this came here, we were sitting and I was like shuffling the deck and stuff. Like I was just playing with it and stuff. And I pulled a card out for him. And like that's the the card that came out. This one. This friendship card. Bitch, I know if he watching this, he gonna trip. It says friendship. Nate, nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Nurture the bond of friendships within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So... It's telling the Aries to nurture the bond of the friendship within the relationship. And your love life will improve. I feel like you got to truly be friends first. You got to be friends. I feel like true love starts with friendship. And I feel like there's an Aries that has a friendship with somebody. It might have started out as a friendship. But it might grow into a spiritual union. And for this Aries... Maybe their third eye chakra, like, they know this. Their third eye has been awoken due to this friendship. They feel like this is a spiritual union that has awoken them. And that's probably why they're emotional withdrawing, trying to take authority right now. And, you know, letting go of hoes or, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe trying to let go of this kind of deviant I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I'm hearing deviant. Like, just being fucking bad. But it's like you good at being bad. So, it seemed like a lot of motherfuckers want it. Clearly. A lot of motherfuckers want it. So, you damn good at being bad. Shit. What's that damn um, Rihanna song? Um. Oh, what is that fucking song she's saying? Sex everywhere, don't care, I love the smell of it. Mm -mm -mm. Um, oh, it's S and M. It says, I uh, something be good or something. Ah, y'all know what I'm talking. Sex in the air, I don't care, I love the smell of it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know, y'all just, y'all just. Fucking bad, but y'all bad at being fucking good. Y'all good at being fucking bad, and y'all just. 
fucking terrible anyway but i just feel like you guys just some wisdom just came over over you i feel like y'all are suffering in silence because i feel like this 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 spiritual union that y'all want to embrace right now it says embrace through each other you find missing pieces oh aries keep it there please aries keep it there it said, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. I told you, this is some man going through this. I, I, isn't it the man? Oh, 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 oh. I so there's a friendship. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Child, let me give me some water. Mm-mm. Batman, fat man, you in love. Batman, you in love, boo. You in love? I ain't in love with these hoes. I ain't in love with these Batman said the bitch, do I look like I said I'm in I ain't say I was in love with nobody. Don't be telling nobody I'm in fucking love and shit. Hey, these bitches think I'm in fucking love. Alright, so Batman said correction. Um, no. Fuck. <laughs> hey Slim. Hey Mo. <laughs> Let's find out what's going on in love with her. Breeze. Keep it there, please. Ooh. Y'all would be getting it good for somebody be like, ooh, keep it right there. Ooh, Aries, keep it there, please. Yes, I think that's y'all's new slogan. Ooh, Aries, keep it there, please. Ooh, stay optimistic about your love life. Er, mm, 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 Aries. Mm. Y'all worry about y'all finances and career. Come on, Aries. Get your hustle on. Get your hustle on. Get your, get your hustle on. Let go of control issues. Come on. Father, listen, Aries. Don't worry about your money. Just listen. Pick your paradigm up. Just, 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 just dust yourself off. Get your, get your shit in line. You know what I'm saying? Just make some changes, you know? Seem like you, you, you're trying to get... You, you, you're walking away from lifestyles, people, places, and things, and situations that wasn't adding up for you things that you've been doing since you was younger that just wasn't adding up and paying off for you 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 see you cutting it out you changing and you rebirthing yourself and you you trying to give your life to your dreams and create a new reality that's what you're doing i feel like the only thing you have to do is let go of the fear of these illusions Fear is an illusion. You just have to set boundary mentally. And I feel like a lot of it is in your fucking mind. A lot of situations that unfold naturally. I feel like you're thinking too hard. A lot of situations that unfold naturally, you're thinking too hard about it. And you're stressing about money. And I don't think true love I don't think that money really counts when it comes to true love and energy. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's a spiritual un union. Don't nobody give a fuck about no money. They give a fuck about if you're going to be there. Are you going to love them? Are you going to be loyal to them? Are you going to work on this relationship and put the work in? Are you going to be a protector? Are you going to be a provider? You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, no, you can't just sit in the house and just sit on your ass and not do shit. You got to go out there and get it. You understand what I'm saying? You have to be a protector and a provider. You understand what I'm saying? So, you have to, that's something that you know that you need to work towards. Stay optimistic about it. Don't be in your head and have pessimistic Thoughts of a defeated person. Stay optimistic about it. You know what I'm saying? Continue to work towards it and embrace that change. And continue to work on it. 
and set your boundaries if you really want to change and stop doing this shit that really want to help and put no money in your pocket then get away from that shit get to the shit that's putting money in your pocket because i feel like for some reason Whoever it is that you have this, these thoughts about the spiritual union that you want to connect on this level with, I feel like whoever this person helps give you peace, like they're your peacemaker, they're, they're your support. I feel like they're sensitive to you and they give you balance. Like regardless of how, like you know how, how Aries can be. Sometimes when y'all get all, ah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they're sensitive to it. They know why you're like that. And they balance you. You know what I'm saying? They balance you. I feel like this person, it's just through each other you find missing pieces. I feel like this person embraces you in a certain different way because y'all are friends. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all are friends. But I feel like, it's something about this finance that is bothering you and children. I feel like it's it's a financial obligation in regards to children. But I feel like you need to make an effort. Or it might be a child on the way. You might have a child hidden. Or something about children. I feel like you got a lot of children. I feel like maybe y'all just don't, um, I feel like y'all, you, you guys feel insecure about how much money you're making and your ability to take care of the children. But it's like great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, continue to take the steps that you, you know what I'm saying? And you already rebirthing and you're already taking the courage to change yourself. So I feel like. My words to you, if you're making so much progressive efforts in trying to change and fix this situation, don't put no doubt on it. Just continue working on it and put love on it. As soon as you be like, man, I really feel connected with this person, but fuck, I ain't got no money, this, this, and that. Like, you need to let go of the control issue of allowing your mind to control you. You know what I'm saying? And I think one of these cards said that shit. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be lying sneaky bastards. Because you might be telling yourself in your mind, oh, this person will reject me because I'm not working right now. This person might reject me because whoop, whoop, whoop. And that's probably the, the furthest thing from their mind. This person might actually love your children. As long as they see that you're making an effort. To try to do what you need to do to change things financially so that you can be that provider, that protector for the... No, nobody is, is going to accept someone that is not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? So if you're just not doing anything, of course no one is going to accept that. So let's see what this person... Let's see what Aries has to say to this person. How does Aries feel about this person? Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. Hmm. Carmen's a bitch. I finally got mine. Hmm. You're the only person that truly gets me. And you still take my breath away. So, I feel like and like I told you, uh, Aries is suffering in silence. They're suffering in silence. And even though they don't show it, they're sorry for whatever happened between the two of y'all. And, and Aries feels like they got their karma for whatever they did. You know, they got their karma. They most, diff they, they most definitely did, but they still feel a spiritual connection there. You still take their breath away. And you're the only person that truly gets them. 
I feel like Aries has commitment issues. Like Aries has commitment issues or they could possibly have a lot of kids or a lot of responsibility with children. And I feel like they need to let go of dwelling over that and just work on changing it and staying optimistic about their love life and make an effort. Make an effort. And just allow divine timing to come to this. It says great work, great love is worth taking the, the steps guided that you're required to take. It says your love life is being affected by children. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Give me guidance. This person that Aries is thinking of says, my heart is telling me to just do it. So I feel like this person that you dealing with Aries, I feel like they might want to take that jump out there with you too. Hmm. I'm more affected than you know it. I feel like Aries, like whatever you've been doing to try to, whatever you've been doing or whatever type of connection y'all have or whatever type of energy vibes that you've been sending that way i feel like this person is receiving this spiritual connection that you've been throwing towards them they're more affected than they i feel like they're putting on and then it says your beauty still moves me too wow your breath take your you still take my breath away your beauty still moves me too. Wow, both of y'all are still attracted to each other or 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 are attracted to each other. Whoever this friend is. Ooh. Ooh, Aries. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Checkmate. I'm reloading. Boom, bitch. What? Bussing shots. Someone throwing they shot out there, Slim. What? Someone bussing shots out there. What? Slam, slam. Slam, slammy. Sim, sima. Who got the keys to the bima? Who am I? The girl, them sugar. Eh. Fat man, I told you stop looking on me, fat man. Who am I? The girl, them sugar. I and I, I make love to a fella and a rush. Pass me the keys to my truck. Oh, fat man, you got the keys to the bima? Okay. Okay, send some. Who got the keys to the bima? Okay. Mmm. Ooh. Okay, we're not going to do that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Uh, looks like Aries, Aries, somebody might be asking you to keep it there, please. Ooh, keep it there, right there. Oh my God, I'm going to get in trouble for this. But it's not me. I'm not, I'm sorry. It's not me. This is what is on this table. No, father. Somebody gonna get in trouble. There's gonna be trouble, trouble. Okay. There's gonna be trouble, trouble. Ooh, ooh. Aries, keep it right there, please. Ow, bitch. Hold on. Give me guidance. Clarify this love situation for my Aries. They busting, they, 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 they busting shots. Oh, King of Wands. Oh, they've been waiting. Oh. <laughs> they've been waiting on something that's been like a dead situation. Like they trying to revive the dead with it. It's like, I expected something more to grow out of this than that. Like, what the fuck? Give me guidance. Like, I feel like they they want more. They want more. And it's like I'm trying to bring something back to life. And I'm just waiting. And it's like you're guarding it. It's like you're guarded. 
Like you willing to put up another fight. You even willing to possibly leave something behind to go forward. It's like you thinking about it. You feel like your destiny is over the horizons. Like there's brighter horizons. Okay. You trying to be mature. But Ace of Pentacles. You feel like. Huh. This Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So this side of the Ace of Pentacles. It means that. This new. Brand new solid beginning. For you. It's going to be good for everyone involved. That could mean. You. Your family. Your business. Your you spiritually, um, it's just long standing committed energy that benefits everyone involved, you know what I'm saying? I really don't see, and I see that, um, there's a issue here surrounding the children, our financial security for the children. I feel like for some reason. This just situation is just be better for the for the kids. Like, well, I guess where everyone could be together or something like that. Or King of Wands, King of Wands. I feel like in the past he was the King of Wands in reverse, non-committal, uh, frivolous, running around in and out. Party, party man, playboy type of thing. I feel like this Aries is getting older. You know, like he's older now. He ain't as young as he used to be. And I feel like this one is kind of like slowing down and trying to just kind of sit down comfortable on his throne. I don't feel like he want to be out there fighting and, you know, sparring with people and, you know, in and out of bedrooms and... Um, this, this one is calming down. This one is mature. This one is older. Um, I feel like this Aries has invested a lot into a situation, even though it looks like it's growing out of a dead situation. It's like they're pouty. You know, you see his face like... I want more. Like, I want more to go. Like, I know this situation is already kind of, like, dead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my God. And I want to say y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Because that is the death. That is a fucking skull. So, like, because I've said that in other readings. When I see that right there, this whole could possibly be dealing with a fucking Scorpio. But I feel like you just like unsatisfied with the results with this person. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's dead. Like it's dead. It didn't bring forth the results that you really wanted. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you're tired of waiting for all of your fruits to come into this thing. I feel like this person has been investing a lot of time. And you see that salamander at the bottom is like, yeah, this person is willing. Or chameleon. Yeah, salamander. This person is willing to walk through fire. This person, because a solid man that can like walk through fire, apparently, can walk through fire, can like go through anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is strong. This person is a fighter. This person is a leader. It's like, I'm the one that you want. I'm the one that fights for you. I'm the one that's going to do it. Like, I'm the one that's going to protect you. I'm the one that's going to guard you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's his. That's his 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 thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm the one. And I feel like maybe for this person, because this person is like tired of waiting. You see his face, he's like so sad. He's just like, I want more. I want it more. I want it more out of this situation. And even though I look tired and I am tired of this shit. And um 
getting a little fucking frustrated, but I'm willing to still protect my investment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't sitting here and wait and wait and wait for fucking nothing. Like, I'm willing to get up and fight one more time. Like, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a fucking Aries for you. That's a fucking Aries. It's like, this person is battle-worn and battle-weary, but... They're willing to do it because look at what's behind the back. Look at what's behind the card. Whoever this woman is could just literally seduce and lure them in. It don't matter how beat up and how much they get beat up in this situation. It's something about this girl. This girl just has a way of just seduction and just pull him in. That's what is going on like this. I feel like this, this, this Aries is suffering in silence about this. But they trying to put up this good front like, man. But they know this, this one. This one. This one right here. This little vixen right here. Got something on him. Oh, my God. Bitch. This one got something on him. Where they are willing to, like, leave that. Deviant lifestyle behind. That past lifestyle behind. And like they see a better future ahead with this person because they just, they know it'll be solid. But they know that they're going to have to work. It's like you can't just, you know what I'm saying? Like you're going to have to work. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to work. But it's like. I feel like Aries feels like they've already worked. It's like I've already put in work. I've already shown this person. I've already did a whole bunch of shit. But it's in something like you do feel insecure in regards to finances and career. That's the only thing that's, that's fucking y'all up. I feel like anything else. If I feel like you guys are working to change. You guys are taking the courage and you guys are just setting boundaries and that's what I'm saying you guys are setting boundaries and y'all are trying to take the courage to change certain shit so that y'all can be this different person I feel like I don't even feel like y'all tripping on being faithful because of this connection this connection I don't think that you worry about that because you really change and I feel like you mature now and you really do want something solid and committed and something that is going to Last, that's something that's going to be good for you, your kids, like everybody. You know? I just feel like it's your finances. You got to fix this. You got to fix it. Y'all better go ahead. Y'all better go ahead. Hey, I'm about to call my friend right now and be like, bitch. So I know. <laughs> I'm out. Bye.